Hello folks, today we are going to talk about our owl pellets um, and look at the bones inside and use them um, for creating our food web and calculating our energy. So our owl pellet is undigested bits of organisms, their bones and their hair or fur or feathers in the case of a bird. Um, and this owl pellet is um, a little broken down already. It's a little bit older, um, but we can already see all the bones uh, inside. So I'm gonna put that on my paper and start sorting through um, and pulling out the bones I can see. Uh, they are very fragile. Um, and so they do tend to break apart, but we can see here that I have a skull. You can see the teeth um, and the orbital ridges where the eyes are. Here we can see a lower jaw. Again, you can see the teeth coming out of, of that mandible. Uh, and I'm starting to pull out some of those other bones as well and just trying to sort them by type. Uh, and so we can see um, definitely some limbs there, some foreign hind limbs. You can use your owl pellet chart um, to help you identify them. And here looks like we have a second organism um, based on the fact that uh, we have a smaller size and the same structure as before. So I'm gonna go through um, and continue sorting my bones and um, we'll continue looking through and pulling out all those fragments and sorting them. Uh, and here are a few of my bones. I am still going through my pellet, but I have started to organize them by size and type um, based on my pellet chart. Uh, so here are um, some pelvis pieces and some femurs. Um, and you can see the ball and socket joints there. Um, if you're interested at all in anatomy, um, we can definitely see that we have multiple organisms contained inside of this owl pellet based on the number of bones. Um, and my pellet, I still have a few more bones to sort through, um, but I wanted you to see um, that process. So now um, I've gone through pretty much everything. The things that are left are broken fragments that are really fragile. Um, there's probably still some rib pieces in there. Um, but at this time, I've gotten through most of what we need um, and enough that we can um, separate those bones out and sort through them. Um, and then here are all of my bones sorted. Um, you can see again, I have arranged them, um, picked out some different fragments um, in order to help me have a better calculation of the number of organisms in the pellet. Um, so there is my pellet bone chart. Um, and then I'm just gonna zoom in on some different pieces so that you can get a closer look um, and help you to help you with identification um, and to look at that structure in a little more detail. Um, so there are some vertebral pieces. You can see um, that they are hollow because that is where the spinal cord went through. Again, if you're interested in anatomy. Um, some other bone pieces there. Um, our, our skulls and jaws um, and some pieces of those. Uh, so feel free to pause at any point and take a closer look um, and uh, use those to determine how many organisms you had present in your owl pellet. So hopefully uh, you have learned how um, much food an owl eats um, and that you can use these bones to help you with your apes lab. Have a great day.